Today, I want to talk about how to raise your mood permanently. You know, 90% of our days are repetitive. We have the same thoughts, we do the same things, we have the same routines, the same habits. And so what that does, is it almost puts us on this autopilot. What happens over time is if we have a consistent mood, it actually becomes part of who we are. And a lot of times we're not as happy and as light feeling as we wanna be. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I created this channel to help you build a more fulfilling and positive and loving lifestyle through self-mastery and spirituality. And today, we're going to naturally, permanently raise your mood. I know I'm kind of in a weird spot today. All of my roommates are home and it was the only spot I could find that was actually like quiet. And I tried to go outside and it's so freaking beautiful out right now, but it was so breezy that the sound just wasn't gonna work. So you're stuck with the, the basement background. Some cats might make appearances, but no promises. So we all have this baseline, this set point, our average mood. And typically one or two or whatever many things per day is what kind of temporarily raises or lowers our mood. And then what typically happens is the next day we kind of reset and get back to our baseline. And this video is all about increasing and raising that baseline. I want you to think of a rubber band. You know, when you're just holding it and it's dangling, I wish I had one, I, I, I looked for one, but I couldn't find one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. I really wanted to show you, but you have the, the rubber band dangling and it's in its circular form and it's just at rest. It, it's at its set point. But then what we can do is we can expand it and we can stretch it, but what happens when we let go, it goes right back to its set point. But say you have that rubber band wrapped around something that's way beyond its set point for a long period of time and then you take it off of that object it'll be stretched out and it will have a new expanded base point it'll have a new starting point and so that's what i want you to keep in mind as we're going through this video and as i'm teaching you kind of how to maneuver and expand and raise your mood so the first step is trying to figure out kind of what your base point is. If you don't know what it is, and rightfully so, many of us don't, what I would recommend you do is actually track your mood for the next 30 days. So every day at the end of the day takes 10 seconds, you know, get your phone or your journal or whatever out and write down a number from one to 10 that you feel like your overall mood was today. If you're anything like me, you probably go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down all day, every day. I want you to average that out and think about your day and choose a number. After 30 days, we're going to get the average of that number. And if you don't know how to do that, although I'm pretty sure most of us do, let me take you back to elementary math class. All you wanna do is add up all the numbers, divide by 30, that's your average. So when I first started tracking this and tracking my mood, I noticed that my average was around a five or a six. That is an F, that is a D. That is a failed mood on a consistent basis. I was like, what the heck? I wanna be happier than this. And just like with math averages, it takes a little time to bring your average up. So how do you do that? The easiest answer is appreciation and love. It's romanticizing your life, <laughs> allowing yourself to just bask and glow and admire all of the little things that we tend to truly take for granted. Whether it's snuggling up on the couch with your pet or you know, often what I do when I come home at night, we have a really beautiful sky here with not a lot of light and I'll just stop in the driveway like this <laughs> and just stare at the stars for a minute, two minutes, five minutes, whatever I feel like. 
and once you kind of slow down in your life and you start to take a deeper appreciation and love of these small little things that we have in our life that God has blessed us with, such as a beautiful night sky, we naturally tend to fall more in love with life, even if it's just half a percentage point a day, one percentage point a day. Raising your set mood, your average mood, is as easy as just having gratitude and finding gratitude in everyday little things. Because once you start consistently bringing awareness in to all of the beautiful and magical things around you that you're not taking that big of a notice of on your daily basis, over time, this accumulates. And after a while, after it compounds and compounds and compounds, before you know it, you'll realize that your mood is way higher than it used to be. I went from about a five or six up to an eight. Um, it took me a little while to do that, but it also gets easier. It's kind of like when you decide to first start working out at the gym and like getting there the first day is so difficult. And then going the second day is like, ugh. But then you go, you know, however many days your first week, and then you go the second week and it's that much easier. And then before you know it, you're in your second month. And then you're six months in, and then you're a year in. And all of a sudden, you've lost a lot of weight. You're in shape, you feel great. It's become a part of who you are. It's become a part of your daily habits and your daily routine. And that's all that doing this and bringing this awareness and love and gratitude is. It's just creating a new habit that's going to benefit you immensely. So it's such a simple and easy thing to do, and all you have to do is just commit to yourself and decide, I want to be happier. I want to be more positive. I want to enjoy my life more. I want to love my life more. Because not only does it bring up your mood, but when you start picking out the gratitude and the love and the beautiful things out of all these everyday, what we perceive to be mundane things, is we start to notice more and more and more of them. And our life starts to improve not only internally, but externally as well. So it's really just a wonderful thing. You can do it. It's easy if you tell yourself it's easy. I hope you guys found a lot of value out of this video. I just want to help you be happier and love your life and just get the most enjoyment out of this life while we're here. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week and feel free to share it if you think that you know someone that this that could benefit from this video. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Mm -hmm.